As California looks to cut down on greenhouse gas emissions, there has been a lot of talk about getting more electric vehicles on the road. One local company is trying to spark that change within the trucking industry. 23, 23 ABC's Corey O'Leary has more on their efforts. From Long Beach to Sacramento, that's the journey that Watt EV is hoping to make possible for electric semis by placing charging facilities in key places around California, like this one in Bakersfield, which they hope will be open by the end of 2023. When we're building out truck charging infrastructure, starting in strategic locations like the Bakersfield site, as well as Long Beach, which is already online, but also identifying locations close to distribution centers and on and off major highway sec uh, intersections, taking us all the way up from the, the border to Northern California. It's not just Bakersfield. CEO of Watt EV says charging facilities in Gardenia and San Bernardino are also set to open by the end of the year, with additional locations planning to open in 2025. In terms of going from uh, all the way up from Southern California to Northern California, that'll be around 2025 timeframe. He says that the Bakersfield facility plays a big role in the plan and says the truck stop will, in some way, resemble a traditional truck stop. 100 acres is going to be dedicated to solar, and the remaining is going to be like a traditional truck stop rest area where we've got a uh, building for the amenities as well as overnight parking facilities and larger pass-through uh, charging. Yusef Azada says that they are hoping to change the mind of those in the trucking industry that don't believe it can be electrified, like Jasmine Mendez's dad, who has been a longtime truck driver. Yeah, I just got off the phone with my father and he was saying how he's a, a little bit hesitant because it's a little bit of a learning curve. He's been used to driving different uh, semi trucks, you know, for 20 some years. In addition to building the charging stations, they also lease out trucks to shippers and carriers. So we currently have 14 trucks, 14 Nikola trucks that we've taken delivery of. There's another 87 Volvos that are on order and expected to start delivery in August timeframe through the end of the year. We hope to grow our fleet well beyond the initial 100 plus trucks that we have. Yusef Zada says their current trucks have a roughly 280 mile range on them and can travel from their already functional Long Beach charging station to the Bakersfield station. And that new technology will allow them to cut down on charge time. We're also heavily moving the market towards megawatt charging on these trucks. So this is where you're going from a traditional two to three hour charge time on the Class A trucks you see today down to about a 30 to 45 minute. For more information about the progress of these facilities, you can head to our website at turn23.com. In North Bakersfield, Corey O'Leary, 23ABC News, connecting you.